Paul is perfectly suited to host the Eurovision Song Contest. Would mean the world to me if we got it. Of course, it's going to be. What a hard decision yeah. to make. We will be revealing all in around, what, 10 minutes time? Yeah. But first, let's go live to Jennifer Rioch in Glasgow and Kevin Dalala in Liverpool. Jennifer, we're going to start with you. What's the atmosphere like there then? The atmosphere here in Glasgow in the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery is... <laughs> joined by two Scottish superstars, Strictly Come Dancing's very own Kay Adams. Kay, why do you think Glasgow should be hosting Eurovision? Jennifer is written in the stars. We have St. Lulu looking over us. <laughs> Rylan <laughs> is rooting for us. ABBA even gave us a name check, for goodness sake. We are the friendliest city in the world. We will give Eurovision such an incredible welcome and we will keep our Ukrainian friends at the very heart of it. You'll have a party like no other when you come to Glasgow. Well, how do you argue with that? That was, that was pretty impressive. But Lawrence Cheney, champion of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, stop it. Can stop we throw it. a party here in Glasgow, Lawrence? Listen, I'm a drag queen. I know all about throwing a party or two or three. But Glasgow is one of the most welcoming and diverse you know, cities in this entire country. And I'm really proud to represent it. And I think Eurovision being here would be so, so bright and bold and beautiful. And that's what we need in the kind of dark times we have right now. We need a bright, bold party. We're going to bring it. I'm confident, oh, yeah. I'm confident. And Rosie, what would it mean to you personally? Because you are an absolute super fan. Hundreds and hundreds. From childhood to now, this has been a big, big thing for me, the Eurovision. Um, but every year we throw a party and we do it in the nature of the country the Eurovision's been held. So is it Scouse? Or is it haggis? Ooh, what do we think? Should we get the haggis? for the people shouting haggis, but there you go. I think we're excited. I think Eurovision surely got to come to Glasgow. What do we think? Yeah! Oh, I'll see you guys in the studio. Thank you, Jennifer and Glasgow. We'll go over now to Kevin in Liverpool. Is there a party atmosphere there, Kev? Alex, of course there's a party atmosphere. Welcome to Liverpool. Yeah! beyond excited we're here at the British Music Experience and there are so many people here tonight who are going to be screaming from the rooftops that work tirelessly during this campaign and guess who I've got next to me only yeah you can see go on yeah only Eurovision singing sensation Sonia how are you oh really really well you know, Eurovision means so much to me. I hold a special place in my heart. Yeah. Uh, I was pipped to the post by one vote. Oh, yeah, Kev. And you know what? Liverpool has got the music history of the whole world. And we tick all the boxes. It's got to be here, Kev. It's just yeah. got to be. Yeah, because you came second in 1993. It would be 30 years next year. So the omens are all there, aren't they? It's Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And next to you is TV and sports personality, Sam Quek is here. Sam, you look fabulous in your jacket. Hopefully um, that's going to bring us... Got my Eurovision right. sequins on, Kev. Yeah. But you know what? It's so exciting. Like Sonia said, for Liverpool, music is the heartbeat of the city. It just brings everyone together, whether you're local, from anywhere in the world. You'll see music everywhere, whether it's in pubs, in the stands at Goodison, yeah. Anfield, or even if you're like my family, just on your Sunday dinner, your Sunday yeah. roast, someone cracks out a song. So yeah. it would mean the world for Eurovision and Liverpool. Twinned yeah. with Odessa as well, isn't it? Yeah, so well, it would be so romantic and we would love the opportunity yeah. to represent the Ukraine. And we know how competitive you are as well. Oh, we? yes. yeah. <laughs> Faye, just quickly, what would it mean to you? Oh, it would mean everything to have Eurovision here. We have Christmas parties that don't compare to our Eurovision parties. Yeah. It's second to none. So to have it here would be amazing. Listen to this. Bring it in. I can still hear them going off in my ears. Yeah. Yeah. So Ray of Norton will be here in a moment to reveal which city will host Eurovision 2023. I'm just excited that we just saw Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's.